China, Pakistan, Iran, Turkey, and Russia. What do all of these countries have in common? I'll tell you right now. All of these countries, and this is not a conspiracy, by the way, currently in the real world at this very moment, they are all trying to move away from the US dollar, right? For many different reasons, intelligence reasons, economic reasons to not become totally reliant on the Western system or the Western culture, if you will. But more significantly than that, folks, do you want to know something else equally as interesting? Those are the same countries where the most amount of UFO sightings that have been legitimized and have had the ascertained, the, the veracity ascertained by them, meaning they've been proven to be legitimate, at least by independent sources, have shown up from those countries. You think that's a fluke? Because what are the Americans going to do? They're going to test the extraterrestrial craft in the countries in which they get along with the least because, again, they have very little pull and control on a front end media perspective. So, again, if there is a media outlet that covers some type of UFO footage that it, that is seen by the U.S. military personnel testing out these craft while they're flying, it's not going to get back to the West. No one's going to worry. With that being said as well, too, there's another element to this as well. Since 1914, this is also not a conspiracy, the American apparatus, if you will, which is quite interesting that they were able to transcend this because of World War II, but we'll get into that. Since 1914, the American apparatus, or I guess you could say objective or goal, is to ensure that no individual state, nation, or set of nations, groups, conglomerates, and institutions, you name it, takes control over the Eurasian landmass. Okay. With that being said, that ties directly into the South China Sea. Why is the South China Sea so significant? Not because it houses the wave nest base. I mean, it certainly does, but it's not because of that. It is because it houses the wave nest base that is directly in correspondence and perpendicular to the portals and openings that are used by the greys relative to the solar warden program or the solar warden base, excuse me, off of the coast of Florida. So before we get into all of this, I just want to say we do have a Patreon. It does help support the show. We have tons of Zoom calls, members only episodes. We talk about things that I really would get in big shit or I would literally get banned for discussing here. And we expand on a lot of the things discussed publicly as well. With that being said, let's jump right into it. The Wave Nest. Using cryon channeling for human genome coupling, coupling, excuse me, then in brackets, Earth Dome 1958 Britannica base, end brackets. So let's jump right into it. So as I was just saying, 1914, this was when the establishment of all of the elites, if you will, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, they realized that the Eurasian landmass, in addition to the South China Sea, is extremely significant, not just for the front end, but this is what's happened. They have built an entire economic system around the world on a front level in a metaphorical sense using metatronic reversals to be perpendicular to what's really going on underground metaphorically, metaphysically, energetically, and literally within this physical dimension. Because the question becomes this, Dave, how come in 1914 these elites made this decision and all of a sudden that objective and goal is still the same today? Because a lot's happened since between 1914 and 2021. We've had things like, oh, I don't know, the you know World War II, the First World War, things like that. So you might be saying, Dave, the power structures, they fluctuate. So how could they remain the same, especially with, you know, Germans and, you know, different uh, cultures and different, I guess you could say, subhuman and extraterrestrial species making different deals with countries over time. Well, it has to do with the esoteric aspect of channeling cryon to maintain the overall objective, regardless of what happens in this dimension, which is how a lot of these elites are able to keep their overarching plan in place because of the deals they make with extraterrestrials in addition to the cryon channeling in which they do. Now, you might be saying, Dave, what is the cryon channeling and things like that? Let's jump right into it. So first off, let's take a look at this article right here. TheGuardian.com. Just over two months old, this article, right? Missing Indonesian submarine. Rescuers find unidentified object as oxygen runs low. Race to find missing Navy vessel as authorities warn oxygen in KRI Nangala 402, which is the name of the ship, will run out within 24 hours. Indonesia's president has ordered an all-out effort to find a missing submarine in a race against time to save the 53 crew whose oxygen supply was only expected to last another 24 hours. As the U.S. military said on Thursday that it was joining the Search, the Indonesian Navy said its ship had found an unidentified object at a depth of 50 to 100 meters, so anywhere from 165 to 330 feet, end quote. Now, here is the key thing, folks. Notice how these things keep popping up more and more often. It is because certain extraterrestrial beings in correspondence with the wave nest from the direction of the greys and the mantids, a certain faction of the greys, are ordering the destruction of these craft in order to be able to, I guess you could say, control humanity more. Why is 
that the case? Now, you might be saying, Dave, this is a bit of a ridiculous reason, but let me show you and I'll explain. The war, uh, the drive.com. Pentagon warns of an increased potential for nuclear conflict in newly discovered manual. The risk of regional conflicts between nuclear armed nations is rising, according to a document prepared by the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. End quote. Now, here's the thing. It's not as simple as aliens saying, listen, we don't want you guys to go to nuclear war, so we're basically going to have to stop everything and all of your, you know, uh, materialistic conflicts, if you will, even though they do not want to get involved with us directly. The problem is this. As we've sp spoken about before, dropping a nuclear bomb actually does more damage to other dimensions than it does on this particular dimension as badly as it does here with that being said how does it affect the different beings now i'm not going to name the different races because we have to understand there are different prime races on top of these sub races so what, what do i mean by that we have crypto terrestrials we have extraterrestrials we have extra dimensionals and then we have extra temporals extra temporals are allegedly you know humans from the future coming into the past to observe us and different things if you will now let's take a look at this report right here routers.com special report China's gene giant harvests data from millions of women. This literally came out, I believe, uh, 48 hours ago. A Chinese gene company selling prenatal pre tests around the world developed them in collaboration with the country's military and is using them to collect genetic data from millions of women for sweeping research on the traits of populations, a router's review of scientific papers and company statements found. All right, now take a look at this. Routers has found that BGI's Prenatal test, excuse me if I mispronounce that, one of the most popular in the world is a source of genetic data for the company, which has worked with the Chinese military to improve population quality and on genetic research to combat hearing loss and altitude sickness in soldiers, end quote. Now, we all know that data collection is occurring, and I'm not even going to spend time harping on, you know, LACE, low-level augmentative crossbreeding experimentation that occurs within China, which tends to be the front-end presentation of the slaughtering of the Muslim Uyghurs, which I am not saying is fake. I'm not saying it's a conspiracy, but again, it just so happens to be a perfect front cover. Even if it is real, it is a win-win because it acts as a front cover for what the United States is really doing in correspondence with these different beings. Now, here's another thing that I also want to take a look at as well too this right over here mirror.co.uk mystery speeding objects detected underwater by u.s submarines ahead of pentagon ufo report it is reported that government officials have secret evidence showing ufo th uh, doing things that have defied explanation and even former president obama admits footage and records exist now the sightings cannot be explained by experts or by current technology it has been claimed so keep that in mind now let's go here reddit.com now normally most of you might be saying holy crap look he's, he's showing a, a reddit page and just some random random person made a post but folks hear me out take a look at this south china sea the event of the summer how much nuclear tech is congregating in that area deep sea rare earth metals is what they're after did we poke a nest now again end quote this gentleman actually provides some links to support this and all of that but the reason overall folks is because if we take a look Okay, at this article right here, renewaconomy.com.au, German coal plant closes after just six years to produce green hydrogen from wind. Do you know where their mass amounts of bases are going to be stationed? They're going to be aquatic based, I guess you could say stations or outposts, if you will, on the South China Sea. So what's happening here, folks, is that we are understanding through the use of energy and esotericism, there is a transcendence that these extraterrestrials are doing as a way of warning. And the best example I could give is something like this. For those of you that have pets, you know, like, for example, if you have a cat, let's say, and your cat keeps jumping onto the kitchen table while you're eating, and you very kindly take your cat and you say, no, you're not allowed to do that and then you put them back down maybe some of you don't speak to your pets but you know what i'm saying that's what these extraterrestrials and these mantids are doing with us with regards to the wave nest base they are frustrated that because of all the tension from a front end human militaristic perspective on a public side of things right because we're seeing china has flying has flown more mil military jets over the taiwan airspace than ever before and again the u.s wants to hold on to taiwan because taiwan produces a lot of chips for the united states and and again, it's been argued if the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, gets a hold of Taiwan, what's going to end up happening? We're going to have a massive issue with chip shortages, right? In addition to the Wahlberg family in Sweden and Switzerland as well. So what we're seeing here, folks, is these extraterrestrials trying to divert the attention away from this wave nest base because we're seeing that the overall elites that are trying to vie for different controls and apparatuses of different factions are actually trying to use the South China Sea as a justification 
position to militarize, if you could say, the presentation of how we have to perceive certain extraterrestrial species. So let's take a look at this right here. Insider.com, a former Maldives minister, Sri Lankan politicians, and a Buddhist monk were arrested over child sex exploitation in Sri Lanka. Here's what's interesting as well, too. 32 people, including a former Maldives minister, were arrested over the sexual exploitation of a teenage girl. Police said 22 people are known to have had sex with the minor, end quote. Now, I did some digging into this, I did some research and what have you. For those that are familiar with Project Flickr, which we talk about on Patreon quite often, I have to be really careful what I say here. Uh, Project Flickr was a uh, an investigation by the FBI. You can look it up on DuckDuckGo.com because Google will censor the search results. Was an investigation into... Uh, some of the highest government officials purchasing Department of Defense documents, uh, uh, so, sorry, Department of Defense documents pertaining to sexual exploitation of children, NASA and Pentagon officials at the highest level with access to the alleged unofficial and untranscripted special access programs obtaining documents pertaining to child pornography, child exploitation, and things like this, but thousands of copies of these documents and videos. So do you really think they're using this for personal reasons? Maybe some of them are, and that's terrible and depraved as well, but we have to look at the bigger picture here. This is all prevailing and surrounding the South China Sea and the Wave Nest base. This is what it really is all about. So let's take a look at this right here. Sri Lanka police discovered two websites advertising girls for sexual activities, according to an AFP report on Channel News Asia. We have 32 people of, in custody and 22 of them are known to have had sex with the minor, Sri Lanka Police Deputy Inspector General Ajith Rohana told the AFP. The racket was busted after a 35-year-old was arrested last month for selling the teenager online for sex over a period of three months, reported Ceylon today. Those arrested include Maldives' former state minister for finance, Mohamed Ashmali, politicians from Sri Lanka's United National Ruling Party, a merchant navy captain, a wealthy gem dealer, and a Buddhist monk, end quote. Now, we're going to focus here specifically on the Maldives' former state minister for finance, Mohamed Ashmali. He is allegedly seen going to Kazakhstan more and more often within the last five years more specifically. Do any of you know what's in Kazakhstan? Allegedly, the real United Nations for the Solar Ward and secret space program pertaining or perpendicular to the wave nest is actually what's going on there and it is sort of like the federation within star trek if you will but anyways let's take a look at this right over here praying mantis accounts from chicago 1999 ufobc.ca posted february 12 2006 by the way this is a great indexing website for all of uh mantid i guess you could say or praying mantis uh, incursions but the reason why i point this particular report out is important you'll see why humanoid report 1999 a man visited visiting a friend's house and sleeping on the sofa in the bedroom, suddenly woke up feeling very panicky and totally unable to move. Looking towards the front door, he saw a huge humanoid figure over seven feet tall standing by the door. The figure resembled a large praying mantis and was wearing something resembling a black and purple cloak. Its skin was dark gray in color. It slowly approached the witness and reached out to him with a large hand with long thin fingers and grabbed him by his shoulder. At this point, the witness lost consciousness and does not recall anything else of the incident. He remembered also feeling very cold during the encounter. Now, why is this so specific? Let's take a look at this right here. Doomsdaybunker.blogspot.com. Sales of Lux Doomsday Bunkers up 1,000%. Now, this was written on April 13th, 2011. New York, CNN Money. A devastating earthquake strikes again. A massive tsunami kills thousands. Northwest Shelter System, which offers shelters ranging in price from 200000 to $20 million, has seen sales surge 70% since the uprisings in the Middle East, all right, with the Japanese earthquake only spurring further interest. In hard numbers, that's 12 shelters already booked when the company normally sells four shelters per year, end quote. Why is this so significant? Why am I bringing up an article from 10 years ago? Folks, I will tell you why. You see, these this particular company right here, that sells Northwest Shelter Systems actually receives all of their chips from Taiwan for manufa for the uh, the functioning of the overall apparatuses of their machines. But in addition to that, folks, do you also want to know something interesting, equally interesting as well? 
their bases, or I guess you could say their hideouts or their bunkers, are always, always cold. However, here's what's equally as interesting. It is cold to the point where it is actually negative 30, uh, sorry, 54 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? That is exactly how cold it really gets within these bunkers, allegedly. Do you want to know, if we take a look at the Blue Book document, what a certain subspecies, not all of them, but what a certain subspecies of these praying mantids temperature is? Negative 54 degrees. Do you think that's a fluke? Do you honestly think that's a fluke? It could very well be. I'm going to be honest with you folks. It could very well be. But again, I mean, we take a look at these things. Like, take a look at this right here. UFO, the truth is out there dot blogspot dot com. Truck driver confirms underground city beneath US. It's there, folks. It's right in front of us. Now, you might be saying, okay, Dave, what does this have to do with anything overall? Because you might be saying, what does this have to do with the title of the episode? What does this have to do with the major world countries and things like this? Well, let's take a look at this right here. LearnReligions.com. Five layers of the human energy field. So how do we understand this? We have the physical energy, the etheric energy, the emotional energy, mental energy, and the spiritual energy. And why do I bring this up? Because the etheric and spiritual energy has been conflated and confused as part of a disinformation program that is disseminated directly from the mantids in the wave nest base that again is perpendicular off the coast of Florida to the secret solar warden base. But what's happening here is that the CCP's program that is collecting the gene data from women is being used to harvest and experiment in human genome coupling for again cryon channeling now cryon for those that have been waiting this entire episode to find out what that is is an alleged multi-dimensional being that can only enter this dimension using a walk-in but not a human walk-in a gray walk-in because the grays allegedly have this synthetic type of uh, i guess you could say smell to them in different ways and in different sub factions of their species that requires them actually to have a particular small nanotechnical device that can transgress and transcend the overall communications platform and aspect of different beings within different dimensions, right? So when we take a look, for example, at the fact that in 1958, Britannica, the Britannica book, said that the Earth was a dome and then the measurements were slightly different, right, from the one that was many years earlier, many years prior that was written. How could that be the case? Could it be a simple accident? Well, why would the elites want us to get a little bit of a hint of what was discussed within Britannica in 1958 that was being written when really we ourselves don't know what's actually going on? Well, let's take a look right over here. This is bibliotechaplades.net. Just on page numbers uh, 645 of, proje of the Project Rand, Okay, this was, again, the first document that developed the Rand Corporation. Proceedings of the Deep Underground Construction Symposium of March 1959, a year after the 1958 Britannica edition was adjusted. Were, were read, quote, just as airplanes, ships, and automobiles have given man mastery of the surface of the earth, tunnel boring machines will give him access to the sub uh, subterranean world, end quote. And also, I'll be putting up on the screen right now, articles from even prior to that, where there were newspapers talking about how anti-gravity, zero-point energy, and G-force technology were about to be revealed, but then they suddenly disappeared. And do you want to know where the last cl uh, closest location was traced to one of these devices? The cell China Sea. What are the odds, folks? What are the odds that this is all happening all collectively? Okay, so what we're seeing here is that Cryon is being used, and Cryon is allegedly a higher dimensional being as a form of a walk in to keep the consistency and lineage of the elites, I guess you could say non-interferable because again we go back to the beginning of the episode how could people make a plan how could world the elites of the world make a plan in 1914 and have that plan still be followed through and not be interrupted when you've gone through a bunch of wars around the world world war one world war two vietnam war the, the wars in the middle east all of this all of these i guess you could say nonsense wars if you want to call it amongst humans relative to the the grand aspect of things how is that that kept the same and consistent it is through Cryon. So I know this episode might have been a little bit confusing, but folks, I hope that you bared with me, you stuck it through. I thank you so, so much for watching, and we'll catch all of you very, very soon. Cheers.